Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the lit code problem sorted subarray to be removed to make array sorted. So given an integer array and remove a subarray can be empty from the array such that the remaining elements in array are non-decreasing. A subarray is a continuous subsequence of the elements. Return the length of the sorted subarray to be removed. So for example 1, we have these element 1, 2, 3, 10, 4, 2, 3, 5. So if we remove this contiguous element 4, 10, 4, 2, then the remaining part of the remaining array is our uh, sorted in non-decreasing way. So the minimum answer is 3. And if array is sorted in decreasing order, so then we need to remove the n minus 1 element at least. So this is the answer in this case n minus 1. And if the array is increasing strictly, then we don't have to remove any subarray. So we will return 0 and in case of one element is sorted by default. So how we will solve this problem? So first of all, we can look two subarrays like from the starting to right, like left to right, we will check how long we are getting a increasing element. So if we see two is greater than one, yes, three is greater than one, two, yes, 10 is greater than three, yes, then four is not greater than 10. So it will break here. So our S starting index, we will keep S from the 0 and continue increasing. If it is satisfied, then S will be here and total number of element in this array is N, which is 8. So the length of the array, we need to remove this part. So this will be N minus S plus 1. So this will become, uh, so N will be index on 3. So this will become 8 minus 3 plus 1. So if one of the solution like we can remove the four element like this and the remaining part of the subarray is, is strictly like non decreasing is sorted. Similarly, we will come from the right and check like start E from N minus 1 and continuously check if A of E is A of E is greater than equals to A of E minus 1. So if this is the case, then we will decrease e by 1 and we will also keep like e should be greater than or equal to s the original s we already traverse by left to right so once we get then we will get another part so if we start e will be break here so this part of the length we will say we need to remove the e element so this is five element we need to remove so we will take one of this from this minimum over these two so in a result variable so the result at least if we remove the four element we will get the sorted array decreasing but there is another case if we combine like if we delete from the center like we tried from the removing subarray from the right and the left now look for the center so how we will uh, decide the elements from the center so what we will do like we already got know the sorted like from the left to right we will get the array from zero index like i0 to as only the sorted left array is sorted uh, increasing basically and similarly we know from index j let's say e to n minus 1 basically the last element of the array is also a increasing element now we will compare between these two elements and continuously update our result from the minimum how so we will check if a of j let's say array of j is greater than or equal to array of i, i the element which means we can include the i because the current j let us say we have this array in this so let us uh, draw it like this uh, so this we have let us say sorted this and the uh, right array is sorted like that and we have somewhere here let us say j is running from here and i is somewhere here so we are checking like if this element j value at j is greater than value at i which means we can include these elements correct i element and also the remaining these elements so we will update our result from the previous min either from the previous one or the minimum from like these if we are taking these many right elements so this is j and from the starting if we are taking these i elements so this will be i and the error is this is the index so we need to do plus 1 so this will be i minus 1 hence we will try for all the cases till the i reach the s or the j reach to the n so this is how we will solve so let's quickly implement the code for this problem 
so first of all we will create n which is the length of the array length and then now one variable s from start from 0 and e from n minus 1 so now while the s is less than n minus 1 because we are comparing with one few ahead elements and the array of current elements so this is s so if s is less than or equal to array of s plus 1 then we will increase s and we will check also the case where like if it is strictly increasing array which means s will become n minus 1 then we will return simply 0 there is no need to anything similarly this is for one part and then we will also try for and so if e is greater than s or equals to s this can go till there and we will check array of e minus 1 if array of e basically array of e is greater than or equal to array of e minus 1 array of e minus 1 then we will decrease e by 1 and also here check if e becomes 0 basically the decreasing array then we will return n minus 1 in case of a strictly decreasing array so this is the two cases we done now we will combine the i from 0 and uh, j from the e we will create two variable and while i is less than or equal to s i is less than or equal to s and and j is less than n so we will also combine now we will check first if a array of j is greater than or equals to array of i then we will update our so we also need a variable result here so this will be int result which will be math dot min of either the n minus 1 minus s or the e and there we will also update result y math dot min uh, current result and the value from j minus i minus 1 so this is how and we will also update i and try for other cases in case of else if it is not then we will increase the j so this is how this simply we will check and then we will return so this will be return the uh, result so let us compile the code first whether it is passing or not uh, it is passing let us submit the code and see if it is AC so it is accepted so what is the time complexity of the solution so if you see this loop may run for n time this loop like sequentially running may go n time similarly this loop can run for n time so overall we are running 3 n time so the time complexity is o of n and the space complexity is constant we are using like few variables only if you like my solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching